Well, the job is to recruit participants from a conflict area and then to build enough trust so that participants have the, the courage to talk, share their stories, their emotions, their, their feelings, because otherwise it will just be some kind of a debate. And in a debate, people share their positions, but there is hardly any movement toward each other. And when you have a debate on television, you talk to those who already agree with you. So dialogue is a way of communicating where there is possibility for, for bridge building in terms of how people understand the world. And I think a lot of conflicts is rooted in the fact that people don't understand that other people see the world very differently. So dialogue is that process where you learn more about how other people see the same world as you. The most fascinating part of my job is to see in people's faces that this light bulb goes on. Wow, now I understand. And I'll give you an example, it's a brutal example. There is, um, uh, in Kosovo, there is an accusation that school children were poisoned in 1991, I think. And if you go to Kosovo today and you ask Serbs, did it happen? They will say no, because it's the Serb authorities that are accused of this. Come on, of course it didn't happen. If the person is an Albanian, they will say, yes, of course, I was there. And both believe there is only one truth, the other part is lying. Then when we were sitting and talking about this, one Serb is saying, you really believe we poisoned you? Now I understand why you hate us. Because up to that point, he was certain they were lying. So when he realized they really believe it, then things started to make sense. Then I understand why you don't respect us. I would like to see dialogue recognized for what it is. Even today, somebody, you know, asks questions like dialogue is something soft, it's something mild. I think a dialogue can be more truthful and more honest and this image of dialogue as cozy, as nice talk is completely opposite of what I have experienced. I mean, people are telling about how their brother were shot, how their house were burned down, you know, what they felt when the guerrilla came into the, into the village. These are brutal, brutal realities. And uh, if dialogue is recognized as an important part of peace building, I think peace building would be much more successful. Today, we're spending a lot of money going into peace building, but there is very little peace coming up. Uh -huh. I think that my message is very clear, and I think I, I said it today. Uh, don't expect changing the world to be a summer job. Changing the world is almost like a lifetime commitment. And if you expect too much, too soon, too fast, you will be discouraged and you will uh, give up. If you realize that even small things contribute to a change in the bigger picture, when a lot of students think like you, then you're part of a movement which is much, much uh, bigger. But dialogue is no magic fix. This is a lifelong struggle.